Microsoft announced a new version of Windows and a new Surface laptop. Yeah, you heard that right. Microsoft announced today a new version of Windows and a new Surface laptop, but you probably can't buy the laptop, which we'll talk about here in a second. So to uh, just kind of pull back the veil of obscurity, Microsoft announced a new version of Windows called Windows 11 SE. Now this came at an education focused event today and they were talking about how they are catering Windows 11 and Surface hardware like this Surface book, not well, not exactly this Surface book to the education market. Now let's kick it off with here with a Windows 11 SE. So what exactly is it? Well, Microsoft isn't saying what SE means. Probably means like school edition would be my guess, but something like that. So it's a version of windows that is trimmed down and restricted it's going to sound a lot like windows 10 and s mode but what it allows is for much more offline use now one of the features if you want to call it that of windows 11 is that you're always connected you can work around being connected in an msa when you sign on but microsoft is making windows 11 se work better offline and so much so that the windows or i should say office apps that it comes with if you have the right license will actually work offline as well and then when the student comes back into a place of connectivity then it will resync everything now that might sound like a whatever feature but if you think about it it's actually really really important one of the challenges in the education sector and keep in mind this is targeted at k through eight is no internet at home and not every home has high speed internet or connectivity at all and so being able to use these devices in connected in non-connected environments is actually a pretty big deal now microsoft also talks about robust support for web-based apps and learning services that just effectively means i think connecting to them through the web browser but they are also going to allow limited third-party apps including zoom and chrome will be compatible with windows 11 se from what it sounds like based on what microsoft says here where they explicitly say we are committed to con continuing to expand third-party app support to include the most common test taking accessibility content filtering and classroom orchestration apps on this product basically it sounds like microsoft is creating a an approved list of software that can run on windows 11 se based devices and if you're not on that approved list then it will not install so basically you've got to pass that gate if you will and then it will work and that is Microsoft's way of restricting it. Now they've tried this in previous versions where it had to come through the store and different mechanisms and had to be UWP and the list goes on and on. But it looks like Microsoft is finally just saying like, all right, it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna create a really hard uh, no go or no go list for Windows 11 SE. And so if you want to run this version of Windows, you're gonna need specific hardware. And that is where the, the Surface Laptop SE comes into play. Now, keep in mind, this is a device designed for the K through eight segment. This is not a device designed for you to sit on your couch because it is priced at $249. That is exceptionally low. That is absolutely targeting full speed ahead at the Chromebook segment. So keep in mind as I read these specs that this is a $249 device. Now, Microsoft is saying that this device is the, the service laptop SE is highly repairable. They say that the display, the battery, the keyboard, and the motherboard can all be repaired Repaired on site. I'd love it if they give this thing over to iFixit so they can give it a true repairability score, but that's a pretty big deal because as you can imagine in the education segment, things break. The motherboard is going to break. The keyboard is going to get gooped up with potentially Elmer's glue, like literally glued up um, the battery and display and the list goes on and on. So what do you get for $249 dues or about two and a half mini fridge units? You are going to get an 11.6 inch, inch display. Uh, that is coming in at 1366 by 768 resolution or 135 pixels per inch. It is super low. It's a TFT display and Microsoft is not trying to boast this up at all. And it's even a 16 by nine aspect ratio, not the traditional more squared off aspect ratio that Microsoft uses on the CPU front. You are either getting an, you are, well, they're both Intel Celeron processors, but you're either getting the N4120 or the N4020 uh, with Intel UHD 600 graphics, four or eight gigs of RAM, 64 or 120 gigs of eMMC storage, which is going to be pretty low and slow. I shouldn't say low, but it's definitely pretty slow for sure. And I guess you can make the argument that 64 gigs is, is pretty low. Uh, there is firmware TPO and they say a security lockout slot. Uh, we'll have Wi-Fi of 802.11ac and Bluetooth as well. They are saying battery life of up to 16 hours of storage. Although it does look like fast charging is um, potentially there in some capacity. It says charge your Surface Laptop SE up to 50% in less than an hour and up to 80% in less than 90 minutes. So it's not super fast charging, but it doesn't appear 
appear to be that it's like super slow. If that, I don't know if there's, there are medium charging speeds, I guess. Uh, 50% in less than an hour should do for pretty well in a classroom. Uh, camera, you get a front facing 720p, 30 frames per second video camera, some basic uh, stereo speakers. You get one USB A, one USB C. Uh, it's a barrel type DC charging port, which means that it's not using the service connect. Also, a three and a half uh, head feet, headphone meet jack and that's pretty much about it in a 40 watt power supply so that that is the that's your bare bones type of entry level device now again it's going to be unapologetically plastic at the end of the day and it's again targeting k through eight there's also going to be a bunch of other devices coming from a whole bunch of other manufacturers for around the same price point and i'm guessing or not guessing but i know for around the same types of specs some of them will include amd chips so team red is not left out it's not all team intel here so if you're an it admin in an education sector and you really just want intel or really want amd you will have options from other vendors to make your wildest dreams come true other things to keep in mind is that this again is for children this is not a gaming device this is not even an x cloud device this is a device that teachers cannot quite toss uh, but they know that these devices are going to get destroyed by especially in those elementary grade ages i have a, a young daughter who uses my laptop and i get nervous every time she touches it because uh, you never saw sort of orange meringue or something is stuck on their fingers but that is the demographic that microsoft is going here now microsoft has gone after this demographic quite a bit the original surface laptop this thing right here not quite in the black uh, was announced at an education event and that's also where Windows 10 S sort of came around and these things just have never really caught on in any way. One of the big themes for Windows 11, especially the store, is that Microsoft has just thrown out all sorts of rules and regulations that they previously had and just said, hey look, we're just going to make it easy. Anybody can come and play. Now there appears to be doing similar-ish things with Windows 11 SE by being very strict on limiting who and what types of apps can run. Obviously a browser, obviously Chrome, obviously Zoom are all going to be capable apps that run on here, but you're not going to be able to download Minecraft. Um, what we don't know yet is the full management story because what if you did want to allow students to play Minecraft on there? While this is not the type of hardware I would recommend it, I would imagine that Microsoft will have an approved list that IT admins will be able to adjudicate or, or work through and make sure things that do get approved uh, as request comes in. But again, it's Windows 11 is the basis for this on the surface, no pun intended, it feels like it's just a pretty restricted version of Windows 11 and a little bit more tailored to that K through 8 segment. So that is what Microsoft announced. Obviously, we'll get more details and more information as this stuff comes around. Be on the lookout for 2022 availability for these products. That is when Microsoft expects them uh, to start being opening up orders and making them generally available to schools uh, around the globe. So if you are in that segment, you're looking forward to these devices, you're going to have to hold off until next year, which means realistically the 2023 school year, because they start in the fall, is when these things are going to be uh, catching on. And so we'll see if they actually help move units. Microsoft is not new to this segment. They've had the, they have the Surface Go laptop, which is also pretty low price. They also have the Surface Go 3, which is also targeted to the segment. And now they are lowering the floor even more to 249 bucks. And so that, are that is or that are those are there we go if i can enunciate correctly the key announcements from microsoft's event and uh, as always make sure to keep it subscribed here because the only bs on this channel is me